guys, I'm here with Shifter Art. You want to introduce yourselves? Hello, I'm the lecturer. I'm Shift. <laughs> yes, and they have an art channel that's really cool, and they have a really unique art style, and they draw together sometimes, which is really cool. So if you guys want to check them out, I'll put the link in the description and also in the comments. And you guys have to go subscribe and go check out their videos, okay? So thank you. Oh, thanks. Hey. <laughs> we're all kind of nervous. We've never done a video like this together before, so just you know, ignore how casual this is and weird. Alrighty, we're gonna be reading Confessions. Yep. And if you guys don't know, Confessions is pretty much people are gonna send in random like opinions they have. And then we're gonna read them and they're not our opinions. So don't get mad at me. <laughs> it's not my opinion. I'm gonna read the first one and then we're gonna go back and forth. Okay, confession here. I, re <laughs> I feel really overrated. I'm nearly at 700 followers on IG and I'm not saying I'm not grateful for it, but I feel like other artists like my close friends who are way better than me deserve to have more followers than me as they draw much better art <laughs> and have better personalities than me. I wish people would like their art and follow them instead of following me because I'm nowhere near some of their levels of skill um we've kind of had the one like this before where people say they're overrated online or they get too many likes for how new they are at art or too many views and honestly for me i feel like that is kind of random i'm not saying some people don't earn their subscribers i'm not saying that but what i'm saying is that most of the time say two people are drawing the same type of art and the exact same skill Someone's going to get more views than the other person because it's kind of random almost online with who gets out and who doesn't. And it, it can be really, yeah. it can be really random. Like for instance, a shifter art here, I have amazing videos and for some reason it would have less views than me. Mine is like lower quality half the time. So that's not <laughs> fair. It doesn't make sense why that is. So that's why honestly guys go subscribe because the, the internet's not, <laughs> it's not fair. Yeah. It's not. I'm just being honest here. I don't deserve it. <laughs> you, you agree? But it depends, you know, yeah. Like, we were talking about it, it's like, it depends. Like, it could be a nostalgia thing, it could mm -hmm. be anything like the style. Yeah. I mean, it, it's pretty yeah. random almost. Because sometimes it's not random. Like, say, for instance, if people share someone online, like, say, they walk, watch Markiplier and they share all his videos with their friends, and of course that's more like a growing from word from someone's word rather than just random, but still, I don't know. I, it feels pretty random online. I don't know how to explain it. Like Instagram, how, like also, what like makes someone more popular yourself, on Instagram? Yeah, comparing yourself to a uh, better artist than in their opinion, mm -hmm. than yourself is always gonna be damaging as well. Like yeah. I'm constantly comparing myself to Velectra and going, I wish I was so good. No, <laughs> but that's the thing is that we should just compare ourselves to ourselves. But honestly, I've seen some incredible artists on DeviantArt and they don't have many yeah. following, like much of a following. And that to me seems unfair because they're so good. They're so amazing at art, but it just, some people just, I don't know why. It's just the internet is so random, I guess. I don't understand yeah, it. I honestly can't figure it out. It's like other art where I'm like, I have two likes. Why doesn't it have more than that? I don't, I don't get it. It seems, it seems so random. Okay, let's move on to the next one or else this video is going to be really long. Um, you guys <laughs> can read this one. I hate it when people are hypocrites when it comes to having a certain story that looks bad, but it's not. And the red flag, and they red flag the art just because a guy is shirtless cuddling his girl or shirtless and they are sharing a kiss. And then you go check their art out. They have something worse and disturbing and that clearly has a <laughs> caption that expresses their art in the way they want it. And I strongly dislike it when people don't seem to understand that when you say you're busy and are unable to work on their art requests too much because of the family stuff or personal stuff, they still ask. That's like two oh, that's confessions in one. Okay, so the first one was they're saying they posed something that someone considered inappropriate, so they flagged it, but then they checked their page and they had something that was worse. So yeah, they were kind of a hypocrite. A yeah, um, uh, like I don't get why people would do that. Like, you know, if you're gonna uh, have art yourself where it's a little bit inappropriate, it's inappropriate in a way. Like, maybe mm -hmm. like if it's a female character and it's a little bit inappropriate, but then someone's still on a male character. I that's it. Maybe they don't like the fact that male character is inappropriate instead I don't of know. female character. That seems weird to me. Like, like, seen... Why flag it? If that seems weird, because normally know, when people like... make art like that, they wouldn't flag others, would they? No, uh, that's what I mean. Like maybe it's a preference. Maybe they prefer female characters, but if they see a male maybe. character, that, that seems so weird I to me. I've never witnessed that, or I've, maybe I have and I just didn't notice. Because people flag things up on the Amino all the time, but I would never mm -hmm. question if they flag something and they still do the same thing. 
I've never thought of that. Maybe because the first image in question is a female topless, and mm -hmm. in file they have a male topless, so uh, it's kind of like... Yeah, maybe they up. see it as like yeah, one's yeah. worse than the other, but... Like, oh, like, I yeah. see, yeah. That could be it. And so. part, what was that again? Um, uh, the asking for art when you're too busy. I, I get that. I, mm. I, we were doing that in like, one day or something like that. I'm like, I'll do mm. them, but it's going to take time. But... Yeah, yeah, I, I know. It I feel like a lot of artists get this where they get asked for things a lot, even though they're super busy, and they have to keep telling them. And like they come in for checkups like so often. Like, are you done yet? Are you done yet? But sometimes <laughs> artists <laughs> take a while, so it, it's not always done right away. Okay. Yeah, well, it makes people have been all right. We've had like maybe one or two. I did like 30 in one month. And then after that, I'm like, oh, no, I gotta stop. Otherwise, I'm gonna draw up. In a month? Yeah, I did one every day, one a day. I just, I gotta Gosh, do it. I, I always get so stuff. burnt out. <laughs> I have to have some time off or else I'd go crazy. Yeah. That was his holidays and he spent all of it drawing and then he went back to work and he was just like, I'm so burnt out, when's my second holiday? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so sad. Don't do that. No, guys, don't do that. that no, that's, that's bad. Okay. okay, let's go to the next one. Um, These are long confessions, my gosh. This one I cut off on accident. <laughs> okay, we'll get it. Um. My confession is that I want to start commissions, but there are a few problems that I'm facing. The main problem is that I'm a very forgetful person and I'm afraid of starting commissions and then simply not doing them thanks to my lack of memory. I mean, I sometimes will randomly get bored with drawing and in the middle of my own drawings and then forget to ever go back. I don't want the same to happen to my commission I agree to do. I don't want people to get angry or upset when I <laughs> say I'll do their commission and not do so or only half completed by a deadline that may have been set. Oh, deadlines, those are always hard. But I know it will happen. There are always going to be those people who won't believe I actually forgot and might take it personally. So I'm a little afraid to start commissions and then end up offering, so I cut it off. But I get the idea. <laughs> I get the idea. They're pretty much saying that they're scared they're gonna forget things or miss deadlines. The biggest thing that's helped me is write it down. Just write down every mm -hmm. commission you get and then put like in your phone, put the images of the references, put any sort of requests they had for posing, facial expressions in there and then check mark each part when you get it done. Like for just a sketch you wanted to sit, send to them before you finish the drawing. Make sure you check yeah. mark each part so that when every day when you wake up, you can look at where you were and where you are and, you know, pick back up where you were without forgetting. That's for me. We've anyway. got this whole of paper basically, that has like all the commission details and all of that stuff. And we have like a hundred different colored pencil um, text to highlight each thing. All mm -hmm. color coded and then cut off around with this. So like, I do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's really important then, to write it down. Yeah, it is. And it helps. And like, I will get up and stop recording halfway through time. Like what I do is like, I put it on music and I dance around. <laughs> I mean, I can understand that. It, it helped you be a little more energetic, especially when halfway through drawing, I always feel like I need to take a nap and I need something to yeah. wake me up. See, so it's like, you just get so sleepy sometimes. I know things. because you're just sitting there drawing and there's nothing happening and you get so tired. Yeah. And it's like, there's no one else here. Playlist, you're going on. Cats, you're dancing. <laughs> Like, I have, I have no idea. Like, I honestly, the, the only thing I would, I would think of is just writing it down because I, I don't know what else would help with like being forgetful or maybe they were scared of missing deadlines. That's a thing. So how would you fix missing a, a deadline? I'd probably get the annoying parts out of the way and done with her. Mm. That's what I always do. I get the mm. parts I don't like most, which is usually hand. Mm. And then everything else just seems to come really easily off. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Sorry. Yeah, I, I I feel like with deadlines, if you have multiple commissions, do the one that has a deadline first and don't accept it until you know you can put it first. You need to yeah. be able to do that or else you can't accept deadline work because you have other things you're working on too and you're going to miss it. Yeah, okay. so I have a confession. I can't stand when a person says they have an anime art style. Anime is versatile and has many styles. The form of animation, sure, you can have a style similar to mainstream anime. But anime itself has thousands of styles. So yeah, I get unreasonably angry when people say they have an anime style as an otaku and an artist. I mean, I feel like that's kind of like the bait. 
they're saying like the base generic like anime mm -hmm. style you know where they came from and they're evolving from that and like we were like when we were younger Sailor Moon performers weren't anime so they were just cartoons yeah we didn't, so know, like, we didn't even know there's a style <laughs> yeah. to it it's like yeah, because, it's, because yeah. maybe they mean like the base anime style but then I always say anime inspired style or something anime kind of like anime because so many they are kind of different but when they say anime I think they just mean like a type of anime style they don't mean yeah, exactly anime. one type of anime yeah it, it would be like saying like you know how you've got like cartoons like Adventure Time or Steven Universe the styles are different but they're very similar I would say that cartoon style I feel mm -hmm. like that's the same thing it's yeah an anime cartoon and that's what people just put under that one umbrella because it's like trying to learn all the names and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because speak. tons of people say cartoon. Yeah. So that's the same thing. That's, yeah. <laughs> so, so I see it. It's like, anime is cartoon, cartoon is like, you know, it's all under that one bracket. Yeah. I don't know who animates the character, stuff like that. I don't know if they have a personal style. It's just like, it's that. <laughs> I don't know. Because I never know what to call no, my no. style either. I'm always like, it's sort of anime-ish. I don't oh, I don't know what to call it. So what do you call it? Yeah. When someone asks you, what do you say? <laughs> that was like uh, uh, when we first started, like, I don't really think I have a style. I don't feel like <laughs> it's anime or it's realistic. I'm you like, have I your own draw. style. I mean, I whatever just, you do, yeah. it is your own. So when, when someone well, asks all... you, how do you answer it? Comic book, anime, realism, just in a blend of everything. <laughs> just like, name a lot of like hashtags. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna be starting a hashtag. Ah. <laughs> okay, but let's move on to the next one before this gets too long. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so here's my confession. I hate the fact that now these days I have to put down art made by me in almost every social media because while you show proof that you don't trace heavy references, all caps, or steal by showing whips <laughs> of your work, <laughs> there will still be people saying, hmm, you definitely stole this art, even though they, <laughs> they saw the proofs of no tracing and reverse image your, your drawings. I get that some people lie about creating their arts, but typing the line art by me on every social media platform makes me feel like I will be a criminal for not crediting myself when I post all of my whips along with my finished work. Okay, well, for me, I see this as like someone typing art made by me. Anyone can do that. So if someone doesn't trust your whips or doesn't trust you made the work, even if you don't up upload any sort of work in progress, that, that's yeah. on them. You don't have to somehow prove it to them, I don't think. I, I mean, feel like the issue is people stealing your art more than you worry that people are stealing in general. Yeah. Yeah, like, we had the same issue on one of the other Aminas where they're like, post proof. And I'm like, I don't want to post proof because, you know, someone might yeah. still get yeah. the bait work and stuff and steal it that way. So what I did was, like, I took a picture of my computer screen with the flash on so that way it Distorted, but it's showed the work, mm -hmm. so no one could ever feel it, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, well, and then had just I agree because, because if you, I don't understand why someone would ask you to have proof. Because one, people shouldn't be accusing you of stealing unless they already have proof that you're stealing. For instance, in the amino, we have the rule is you're not supposed to. Um, get talk to anyone about the idea of them stealing unless you have proof they're doing it. Because you can't just write someone and be like, "Prove you drew this." Because it's not fair, because they could be drawing it. The only thing is, is if you have some idea or something behind it, that's actually a good basis that they're actually stealing something. Yeah, well, that's why I think, like, the YouTube for us is good, because at least we've got proof and a date mm -hmm. and time of when we uploaded it, so we can backtrack it before yeah. they post it on DeviantArt or whatever if they Yeah. I'm like... <laughs> I mean, yeah, because when you're on YouTube, you get speed paints, so that's pretty much the best proof you could have. Like, that's about, like, 10,000 worth of proof. Yeah, exactly. frame by frame. <laughs> <laughs> We're going for way too long. I'm sorry, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please make sure to go subscribe to Shift Draw Art and check out their videos. Yeah. And you. if you guys want to um, 
leave a confession, you can either leave it in the comments or just go write me on Amino. I'll put that in the comment as well. And that's pretty much what we do. You, you don't have to leave your confessions in the comments if you don't want, because you don't have to say who you are. It makes it a little less awkward. You know, if you have something you don't want people to know about. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.